Welcome back to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification so that way you are updated on the new videos. Today it's about good debt versus bad debt versus ugly debt. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Actually, there's, I don't know such thing as ugly debt, but whatever. So, good debt versus bad debt. Let's get into it. You may think all debt is bad. It's not. You see, the difference between good debt and bad debt is that, for instance, when you take out when you have a balance on your credit card and you're paying them interest and you use that money to go have fun that's bad debt you see the reason it's bad debt is because you're not gaining anything off of that debt it's a it's a consistent and common tactic with businesses to use good debt you see if you borrow money at say 10% interest. I know that's low for credit cards or most debts. If you borrow, say, say $1,000 at 10% interest and you use it in a way that nets you $1,100, you know, actually it's not making a lot of sense, but um, if you net it in a way that basically gives you more than 10% back on that that money, then it's considered a good debt because you're ahead. So there are formulas in business for this, but if you take the money, for instance, and buy and invest it in something that's uh, going to appreciate really quickly, say there's a boom in the market, I'm just throwing out an example, but you, you, you borrow a bunch of money and then you, you, you buy up a bunch of um, you bank stocks, for instance, and they swing up suddenly, and maybe one or two months later, you know, your your bank stocks have gained, you know, 40, 50, 60 percent in value, and now you're only paying 10 percent on the debt, so you cash out the stocks, and now you're way, way ahead. That's good debt. That means you've used the money for a huge advantage, a huge increase beyond what it cost to get it in the first place. Now you can pay back the original principal and you'll have a lot of money left over. So another example of like good debt, for instance, I use pretty consistently is I don't pay federal taxes during the year. I pay them at April. The IRS charges 3% on anything over $1,000. So, I take that money and I apply it to credit card debt, which is way higher than 3% interest. I apply it to auto loans. I apply it to um, equipment to try and build more in my business. I try, you know, I use that money to anything above 3% that it's applied to is going to be considered good debt. And when the, you know, time rolls around that the IRS has to be paid, um... Last year, I just, or this year, actually, this previous months, I just found ways to make more money, and then I paid them off. Um, but even if that wasn't the case, you know, just because I applied the previous year's money to, say, paying off credit cards, I I actually gained a lot of money by keeping, you know, the money and owing the IRS 3% extra. That I did. So that would be considered good debt. Now... You have to have a plan in place before you do something like this, so that way you don't basically get caught in the open. So if you're going to buy something, some some sort of um, appreciating asset, appreciating means gaining in value, um, and all you have is credit cards, you need to be using a credit card that has 0% interest, say some promotional term. And then if you can't, pay that thing fully back, you need to be transferring it to another, um, like a balance transfer that to another thing that has 0% interest. Now, balance transfers usually come between 3 and 5% um, one-time fee, but, you know, you keep moving it around in order to, you may pay 3% one-time fee for, you know, a promotional term of, say, 6 months to a year, but as long as your appreciating asset is gaining more than 3 to 5%, um, in that time period, then it's actually a good thing. It's a good debt. Um, and eventually you just pay that off anyway. Um, don't get caught in the open with like when the interest rates kick in and you can't do anything else about it. So, hope this is clarifying what good debt is versus bad debt. If you use good debt 
and you, use, you can use debt to gain huge, huge advantages, or you can use debt to basically crash and burn. It depends on how you use it. You can get way ahead with debt, or you can end up in the poorhouse with debt. So you got to be very careful about it, but it is a tool like anything else. You can get way ahead with it if you use it properly. So until next time, I will talk to you later.